Mark believes that this apparent mistake was actually deliberate. Could it be the key to decoding the secrets of this strange ruin? The curious thing is that the axis of the temple does not aim directly at the Sphinx. It's as though the Sphinx is shoved to the north, and the axis of the temple points past it up the western horizon. One other feature of the temple layout might be a clue to what the ancient Egyptians were aiming the axis towards. These two sanctuaries, which are in the form of recessed bays and small niches, define the temple axis. It's very compelling to think that that's for the rising sun on the east and the setting sun on the west. Mark believes the Egyptian master builders would not have done this accidentally. He thinks they deliberately pointed the temple axis at the spot on the horizon where the sun would set at a special time of year. The Sphinx temple is oriented on this axis so that it is aligned to the setting of the sun and the rising of the sun at the equinoxes. As the sun set on the equinox, it dropped directly behind the shoulder of the Sphinx and the south side of Khafre's pyramid. The shapes of Khafre's pyramid and his Sphinx would merge to become one perfect silhouette. Khafre and his builders were trying to harness the power of the sun. And after Khafre died, he hoped that this alignment would be a kind of resurrection machine he was in effect hitching himself to the eternal cycle of the sun so that he too would rise in the afterlife. Mark believes the temple was part of a new cult in Egypt that worshiped the sun as a central deity. This ideology was set to dominate Egyptian religion for the next 2,000 years. Mark also believes that the precise positioning of the Sphinx Temple allowed it to harness the power of another, different solar event. If he's correct, on the year's longest day, the summer solstice, an observer at the temple location would have witnessed another amazing visual effect. Setting directly between the two great pyramids, the sun formed an ancient hieroglyph representing the eternal cycle of rebirth. With this monumental architecture, they were trying to hitch themselves to the power of the sun. Why? Because they believed the king was literally the son of the sun. And he needed the power of the sun for effective rule over all of Egypt and all its inhabitants. Khafre changed the face of Egyptian history. In building the Sphinx and the temples at its feet, he helped advance an era of sun worship in Egypt that would last for the next two millennia. It is incredible to think how the fourth dynasty Egyptians aligned these massive monuments, the temples, the Sphinx, and the gigantic pyramids of their time. Although investigating...